winter is at its peak with freezing temperatures and I'm loving to be nice, warm and cuddled up being at home using my Cricut Maker 3 for good. It's definitely keeping me well occupied in a very productive way. But before that, uh, it's time for breakfast and I'm trying my best to keep the nutrient values in mind in whatever I eat and a wholesome breakfast tray is something that you should consider doing uh, which has a good portion of at least um, a handful of portion of nuts, fruits, salad, cheese um, which uh, will actually make it easier to get all your five portions five healthy intakes for the day all in breakfast itself and apparently making it more easier to get more protein rich food as the day gets on for your lunch snack and dinner time I have wholemeal Warburton thins um, you can eat them straight from the pack but when layered with some spread and warming them up slightly will make them very tasty. I'm using chili sauce but you can use ketchup or both as well. A layer of sliced cucumbers and tomatoes and grated baby bell cheese. I prefer having baby bell cheese because of its long lasting period in the refrigerator with them being individually packed. And yes, you can use any cheese of your choice. So today's breakfast tray which was super easy to make but has great health benefits including five portions a day. Um, it is your hand, uh, when I say portion, um, it is your handful measurements of good healthy intake and this tray includes um, a fruit, dry fruits, vegetables, cheese and wholemeal bread all included in the breakfast which not only makes it appealing to eyes and interesting to eat but was very easy to make and is very healthy too and when the day begins with such good intake I feel very refreshed and these winter months we just crave to eat chats so today I'm planning to make a very healthy version and an easy version of chat um, so I have measured around 50 grams of tamarind which will be sufficient for making eight portions of chat adding in hot water and letting the tamarind soak for a good couple of hours. And I also have fresh mint leaves that we bought yesterday. Making the two chutneys, mint chutney and tamarind chutney are the only thing to work on. Rest all is going to be good and easy. There's still plenty of time for lunch and I enjoy keeping it productive by creating something on my own. Um, here is to another idea, a completely different idea of making a sari at home. I have been using my Cricut Maker 3. Uh, you know, I have created so many different varieties of saris already, but today's idea is totally different. In fact, very different. This is a printed fabric in cotton um, with floral design. I bought this fabric when I was in India from New Mysore store Hubali. Um, I was actually looking for printed floral pattern in chiffon but I couldn't find uh, hence bought this in cotton. It's stiff uh, but it's still soft and wearable. If you manage to find or have a ready chiffon sari that you can use uh, this idea. Now to match with this fabric I also bought this piece of hot pink. Um, it's just uh, in one meter. Now when you're creating something you have an idea but then when you actually start working on that idea it tends to change and that's okay it's absolutely fine. The whole idea of creating is getting a new art done and uh, when I was trying something yesterday I got this beautiful orange fabric which was at home and this is something that I already had home so I tried using this fabric and which actually turned out pretty good. In fact we all at home liked this combination of color than the hot pink. We felt uh, the hot pink would be more overboarding, it might look a little too much. So thought of using the orange instead of the pink. Now using the fabric grip mat um, I place the fabric and cut the excess. A very simple flower shape is what I have chosen from the Cricut app. This machine is so smartly built that I don't literally have to move each and every pattern design that I choose. It's just, it just aligns on its own and it 
clearly shows as to how the design will be cut. Um, little things that I have learned over the time using my Cricut Maker 3, there is still space that is left that can be used for good. So I added more flower designs to the canvas to make the most of the fabric and not letting it go waste. So st this is something that you can do as well. Um, have a look at the display ensuring the fabric will be used for good. I'm happy with it. It looks good. So uh, I'm changing the blades now. Um, it's all so easy and straightforward. Um, this is the rotary blade that is used to cut fabric. Now, if you're not sure, you're unsure what blades to use, the Cricut app will guide you displaying message clearly to change the blade. And it's all ready to cut the fabric. It's a great joy to see the Cricut Maker 3 cut the fabric. I thoroughly enjoy it every time whenever I use it. It's so beautifully cut. In fact, I wanted to mention this point in particular. There are so many ladies out there who are very keen on working from home and want to utilize their time in a productive way to keep them occupied. Um, this could be something that you can look into. There are so many different varieties of cricket machines that will suit your needs and budget. Investing accordingly and creating your own little business uh, using cricket machines already have large number of templates, designs and ideas that you can use in creating so many things and sell them either on your own or on Etsy or uh, to your own family and friends for birthday parties, as return gifts or any occasion that you can think of. And talking about the fabric, it is in 60 yard measurement. And also very important to check the length that you have sufficient to tuck in the sari. Now to work on the pallu, you're using your left arm and placing the fabric on your shoulder to measure the length. And uh, working on the dining table is the best to get the measurement right. Right, okay. So these are the flower designs that are cut and ready. that I'm using uh, five flowers, placing them one above the other. I give it a fold in quarter, stitching it to hold securely in which way once you open up, it will look like a proper flower with layers like petals. I have seen so many latest designed saris on Instagram, including lehenga cholis as well, with such flowers being used on the fabric, giving that extraordinary look that I thought I should be trying the same at home. And I'm really surprised and amazed at, uh, as, as to how these flowers, uh, the fabric flowers are being created with so ease with the help of my Cricut Maker 3. And I absolutely love myself for being productive during the day and I enjoy it as I get to sit down and relax as well. This way, I keep all the flowers ready by just giving it a stitch uh, using a needle and a thread and take a break for lunch. I'm using the air fryer, setting it to preheat for five minutes time. And I'm making aloo chaat for today, a very healthy version of chaat using sweet potatoes majorly two big large sweet potatoes with skin that I chop into small cubes. They're high in fiber and antioxidants uh, promoting healthy gut and brain. I'm not going to deep fry them but air fry them with very little of oil for 20 minutes time at 180 degrees temperature. In the meantime, I'm going to make mint and coriander chutney, a two handful of mint leaves, a handful of coriander leaves. Two green chilies, 
an inch of ginger, half a lime, salt to taste and water to grind into a smooth paste. Adding in a tablespoon of yogurt to make mint and coriander chutney. The sweet potatoes are air fried and ready. Now I am using a four small potatoes to air fry them at 180 degrees for 15 minutes time. The tamarind has been nicely soaking in water that I squeeze the pulp and sieve the tamarind water. I gather all the remaining into the pot again with more water added that I can use for making sambar or rasam tomorrow. A teaspoon of black salt, Kashmiri red chilli powder, amchur powder, chaat masala and 20 grams of jaggery. A very quick version of katamita chutney or you can say as tamarind chutney that can be made instantly. Now to the air fried potatoes, I add in a teaspoon of cumin powder which is jeera powder, jeerge pudi and salt. I combine and keep it ready. I also add in jeera powder to the yogurt with some salt for flavouring. Keeping the charts ready this way is the best uh, that the whole family can enjoy as and when they feel like eating. Sweet potatoes, potatoes, fresh herbs like mint and coriander and onions are also uh, a part of your daily 5 a day chart. So enjoy this version of healthy chart, healthy alu chart without feeling guilty. It gets really very dark by 3 p.m. in the afternoon here uh, these days and just can't wait to see the sunshine and long bright days. I place the flowers on the pallu area spreading them evenly but not uniformly. A good uh, scatter around should work good. I move around stitching the flowers one at a time. This is completely different idea of sari that I have created today. I think all the saris that I have created so far are very unique in its own way and I feel really good about it. Um, making the sari was all easy with the help of Cricut Maker 3. I am leaving a link of this wonderful machine for you all to have a look at. This way I just moved around from one chair to another to stitch the flowers. I am very pleased with the outcome that I am really looking forward to wear this sari for an occasion. I really hope you liked this idea, simple, classy and elegant, that you can create a dupatta or uplift your old sari blouse with floral art. I managed to create the sari in a couple of hours time which is pretty good. And it's almost time for dinner now that we are very much wanting to enjoy Pak choy soup. Pak choy is a leafy vegetable that uh, tastes great in soups or with noodles or stir fries. I have 
have around 20 beans that I am cutting diagonally and carrots into small bits. Only very big thick long leaves that I chop lengthwise, rest small ones I leave them as they are. Adding in a teaspoon of oil in a pot, beans for a quick stir and then I add in carrots. I adding in sweet corn now and you just want to give a stir, you don't want them to be cooked now. I add in bak choy as well and then add in hot water. With two vegetable cubes. I boil it for around 10 minutes time. We want the vegetables to be slightly crunchy, not cooked completely. I have 2 tablespoons of corn flour with water. Adding it into the soup with vinegar, soya sauce, salt and pepper powder. A very quick version of pak chai soup uh, which is my husband's recipe. He loves creating his own versions of soup during winter months and this is our very favourite. Um, normally it's always him who makes the soup at home. I do the chopping where well, he does the main chef role but today he's really busy with the ongoing meetings and his work. So I made the soup on my own for the very first time with his instructions, uh, recipe guidelines. <laughs> uh, and we also like to have methi kakra and pickle which are a great combination to have alongside with soup. And I had to make it complete by giving a look, draping the sari myself. Um, it's a very happy feeling to wear what you create and the sari has definitely come out quite different uh, to the ones if I compare that I have in my wardrobe and I have never had anything like this. Uh, these flowers are giving that exclusive uh, look making it unique and special. Even though the sari colour with its print looks more for summer and spring collection. Uh, having a full sleeved blouse like the one which I am wearing, actually this is a crop top, um, makes a huge difference in its appearance making it suitable for even winters. I really hope you found this video useful, helpful and the want to create a sari of your own and getting that uh, motivation in the winter months to keep yourself productive, active and the want to eat healthy food.